What's up, brothers? My name is Spencer with Live Bearded. I'm here with my boy Dusty, Live Bearded HQ, and today we're talking handlebar mustaches. All right, guys, when it comes to trimming your handlebar mustache, you're gonna need a few tools. First up, mustache wax, obviously your best friend if you're gonna rock the handlebar. You need a good beard trimmer, we got our Brio. We need some scissors to kind of take care of the ends. You need a comb, and the secret weapon is a blow dryer. I'm gonna show you guys a technique that I found to be extremely helpful, especially to train your mustache to get the hairs to kind of grow out and flip up. A lot of you guys reach out saying you have a hard time getting these to actually flip. So we found a little technique over the years, using a blow dryer, using the comb to train these hairs to grow up and out, and uh, with time, it's gonna get easier for those to stay up naturally and look great all day long. All right guys, getting into the method here with the blow dryer and the comb, what you wanna do is grab the comb and starting at the middle of your mustache, work your way to the outside, move the comb to the outside while simultaneously moving it up. What that's gonna do is train the hairs to go out and up, followed by the heat, right? I like a low setting and just follow that along. What you'll notice is the, the heat from the blow dryer We'll kind of move those hairs over and work them up and they'll naturally want to flip up and out. I recommend doing this first before you apply any product and this is really gonna kind of allow you to see what your mustache is working with before you start trimming anything at all. All right guys, as you can see, just a little bit of heat there, the mustache is already starting to form. After that, grab your mustache wax and just start applying to the mustache, start in the middle, kind of work your way to the outside. The idea here is to get it to form. You're not trying to set it in place because again, we're gonna shape it a little bit. So you just want a little bit of wax on there to start separating it from the beard. We're gonna show you a little trick here in a second on how to really get that mustache to pop and separate by trimming some of the hairs underneath the, uh, the mustache there from the beard to separate that. But for right now, you're just looking to, to kind of pull it apart there. Yep, work your way to the outside and start to shape it. Now we're gonna get into actually trimming it. We'll grab our trimmers and go to work. Now there's two different styles of handlebar mustache and really have the option to let it grow completely natural, don't trim anything at all, and then just train those hairs to grow out. Use the blow dryer, use your mustache wax every single day, and with growth, those will start to work their way to the outside, have a really nice full mustache. If you've ever had this, you know, it's a pain in the butt to eat or drink anything. It's kind of a nightmare. So I like to trim right above my mouth here, about the width of your nose. Any hair kind of within here is actually getting trimmed shorter, and that's gonna be a clean line, which we're gonna show you here on Dusty. And then everything on the outside of the mouth, these are growing longer to give you the handlebar shape. So we're gonna kind of take the, uh, the trimmer, work it from side to side, start in the middle of your mouth here, work to the outside, and just clearing some room so that you can get some food and drink in there and kind of create a nice even line right at the uh, lip line there. All right, guys, once you have your mustache more or less defined, you've got you've got the mouth trimmed, got some clearance, got the ends kind of whipped out there looking good. One little thing I like to do is clean up the beard hairs and really separate it from the mustache. So the mustache, the lip hairs there are gonna kind of flip out. But if you notice these hairs right in here, they blend into the stash. And that, that's really what makes it hard for a lot of guys to separate their mustache from their beard. It really just blends in. So what I like to do to really make it look like it's almost sitting on top of your beard is really just shorten and trim these hairs right underneath the mustache. So, you know, we just grab a couple of these, comb them away from the mustache. And then any of these that are really kind of on the cheek line that want to blend up, you just kind of work in here and just trim these a little shorter so that they don't flip up and kind of blend into the actual handlebar itself. So these will be a little bit shorter. This will give the illusion that your mustache is really sitting more on top of your beard and get that separation. You know, my mustache is a little more blonde than my beard, so it has that appearance of it sitting. But if, you're, if your mustache blends in, try taking these hairs a little bit shorter, lifting the mustache up, trimming these down, and it's really gonna make your mustache pop. All right, now guys, when it comes to the handlebars themselves, right, it's amazing what a little trim will do. If you wanna grow your handlebars longer, Obviously your hair is gonna get a little thinner towards the end, so if you, you know, thin out just a little bit at the wider you go, 
Uh, Dusty told me here that he's not a fan of the really wide handlebars. I don't know why, but he's thinking he wants to trim it short. So in that case, still go through the same process. And then if you want to trim this down to have a little bit fuller, all you got to do is kind of cut the tip off here, right? And that'll still kind of train that and you'll have just a fuller end. And you keep doing that and resetting as you grow and continue to grow your, your mustache out, it'll fill out as you allow these hairs to kind of catch up. So he just showed you how to shape an, a glorious handlebar mustache and he's thinking, you know, we're gonna cut it a little shorter. So we're gonna cut it because here's the deal, guys, grow whatever beard style you want. At the end of the day, we're gonna give you some recommendations and stuff we like, stuff that we find, you know, cool and whatever, but at the end of the day, rock it. So he's gonna trim it down a little shorter, which is gonna be awesome, and it's gonna allow time for it to continue to grow out. The question is, is just trying to figure out how, how much is to take it off. So what we're thinking is we've got this kind of whipped out here. So we'll probably just tri trim this down a little bit and then allow time for these hairs here to get longer. So trim it down, and that way he can wear it up or down and then give it some time and let it grow back out and see what it looks like. And so as this grows, now it's just gonna boom. See how much more hair comes to the tip versus that tiny little nub. And then allow that to keep catching up. Check in every month or so, It'll fill out. It's looking good. All right guys, hopefully you found that helpful. Whether you wanna grow a handlebar or not, entirely up to you. Here at Live, Live Bearded, we wanna support you guys. Rock the style you want. If you want a big handlebar, if you want a shorter handlebar, if you want no mustache like Pete, no judgment, guys. We love you, we support you, and we appreciate you supporting us back You know, here at Live Bearded. Our mission is to help beardsmen look, feel, and be their best. That's why we create content like this. That's why we have a lifetime warranty on everything that we do. Bottom line, we've got your back. So if you need anything at all, don't hesitate to reach out. And as always, Live, live Bearded, bearded. Brother.